Eight year old cook shop operator slain in St. James and man fatally stabbed in brawl at Burger King outlet identified. Plus, child that was killed by falling gate, mother recounts what happened. Remnation family, Wagwan. Say yes, my peeps. They are back with another video. So, an eight year old cook shop operator was murdered in St. James. At his business place, Rhyme Nation family. Plus, he manages the St. Clavers Avenue based transportation hub as well. So, the man was sitting at his business place, Rhyme Nation family, at around 2 30 pm when two men came to his establishment and ordered one of them order a food. Why he could serve them. Serve that one, the food, they opened gunfire, hitting him multiple times. He was transported to the Connell Regional Hospital where he succumbed to his injuries. And Rhyme Nation family, the year almost in. And since 2022, 182 people have been murdered across St. James alone. 182 people in a Ram Nation family get murdered in a St. James alone. And St. James is now under public state of emergency, which was declared on Wednesday in response to the high level of crime. So we don't know the full story why he was murdered, but I have the article from Jamaica Observer, and it is really alarming that an 8 year old man get murdered by some like a dirty corner boy and some people did on one post on instagram and said the man not have no manners and thing and him deserve what him get but then again why them I say that that not right for them kill the man even if the man not no manners the man is an elderly man 8 year old why come on man me I tell you say every day Jamaica get worse and worse around the nation family. I hope them find them too many. But even the nation family, them bring them before the courts and get justice. It's still not going to bring back the man. The man end up dead already. So, we don't know as yet why them kill him. But hopefully we can get to the bottom of this story why he was murdered. But it is alarming and it is crazy. So, I have the article, so I'm going to read the article. And if you're new to the Rhyme Nation channel, I'm going to subscribe to the channel, like up the video, share the video, my peeps, and things. So, I can get down into the article. So, this is from Jamaica, Glena. So, now, an 80 year old cook shop operator slain in St. James. So, an 80 year old man was shot dead at a cook shop. He operated inside the St. Clavers Transport Center in Montego Bay, St. James on a Thursday afternoon. He has been identified as Lesmore Williams of a Perry Street address in Montego Bay. So this report now is from the Barnet Street Police. So the Barnet Street Police said that about 2 p.m. Williams, who also manages the St. Clavers Avenue based transportation up, was sitting inside his business place. When two men approached him, two dirty corner boys in our animation family approached him, posing as customers. It is also reported that one of them placed an order, but before he could be served, he brandished a handgun and opened for hitting Williams multiple times. The men then fled the area on foot. Williams was taken to the Connor Regional Hospital. Williams was taken to the Cornwall Regional Hospital, where he subsequently died. The death of the elderly businessman came hours after gunmen attacked customers at a supermarket in Moy Hall, St. James, injuring two. Reports said that at about 9 a.m., a motor vehicle drove to the community and its, occup and its occupants opened fire in the vicinity of the supermarket, hitting the two men. The injured men were taken to hospital. 
the two injured man were Amish and family, them never end up dead. So watch out. At least 182 people have been murdered across the parish of St. James. Alone, you know, 182 people have been murdered across St. James since the start of 2022. So the parish was among eight in which states of public emergency were declared on Wednesday in response to the high levels of crime. So that is the article from Jamaica Observer Rhyme Nation family. So moving on to the next topic. So there's a video which has been circulating on social media which I have get a hold of it wherein a few men were involved in a brawl but Radio Jamaica news state that one of the men subsequently died which he was stabbed and we are getting some con unconfirmed reports stating that two of the men end up dying we have them photos and things so I have the article I'm going to read the article so watch out now man fatally stabbed in brawl at Burger King outlet identified the man who was stabbed to death during a brawl at the Burger King outlet in Barbican Thursday morning has been identified he is 28 year old Akeem Morgan a carpenter of 9 Confidence View Kingston 6 investigators report that at about 7 o'clock two groups of men got into a dispute at the Burger King drive through resulting in three of the men receiving stab wounds. Morgan and the other wounded men were in a black Toyota Noah motor vehicle when an argument developed with men in a grey Nissan Tida. The men in the Nissan Tida were joined by others in a white BMW X1 and a physical confrontation began with the men in the Toyota Noah. Knives and machetes were brought into play leading to a brawl in which Morgan was killed and the other two, a 23-year-old student and a, 20, and a 28-year-old laborer, both of Confidence View, Kingston 6, were admitted to hospital in serious condition. But now, Mr. Weir in Augustone, I think Augustone News or something like that, post up, say, Akeem and the next man end up dead because of the brawl which took place at the Burger King. So I have the video, I'm going to put up a little piece of the video. But if you don't want to watch the full video, I'm going to leave my WhatsApp group link down in the description. So you can click the link, go up on the WhatsApp group and you will see the video. Because of YouTube restrictions, I don't want to put it on my channel wherein I get banned because of this. So. I'm going to post it up. So if you don't want to watch the full video, click the WhatsApp group link and watch the video. So I'm Nation family, moving on to the next topic. So the child that was killed by a falling gate Ramnation family. His mother is recounting what happened. So the little one name was Liam Williams. So Emmanuel's eldest brother was playing and you no know, them did a play hide and seek. The article said them did them did a play football, but them did a play hide and seek, the mother said. But I never listen to the full interview because from the start watch it. I tell you, it gets me really emotional. How the mother recount how the little one died. So, Rhyme Nation family, I'm going to make you watch the video for yourself. I'm going to leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section and tell me what you think about this. And if you make it this far in the video and you haven't liked up the video yet, please do so. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. So, take a look at the video and leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section. When his brother was playing, and hide and seek and brother hide and him seeing brother him go and him find him 
were two fans so quickly get upset, the bigger one got us up, got upset and then say, You find me jump lame and then start cry. You see next time when you go hide again, he was like, You see Jamari in there grass so hiding and he was like, Where are you, Jamario? Jamario, where are you? And my look and he see me and he say, I can't find Jamario. I can't find Jamari and then Jamari take a time with it, saying it and then Jamari jump up. You mean you can't find him? So he's like you understand Jamario. You know what? If you get upset, can kind of happen before that he was upset at the first time in the plane. That's how he is. So you say you're blaming yourself only if you had been here. Maybe this tragedy would not have happened. Or even if I was here, or if I was just maybe two, three minutes before it happened, because it would always decide me. Ah. Uh...